You've now taken over two iconic roles in The Matrix and Candyman. Who is next? I don't know. You left out Dr. Manhattan and you left out Black Manta. I don't really appreciate you leaving out some of my more iconic performances. So let's put those in there. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? This is Yahya Abdul Mateen II. Esquire's asked me to explain a couple things about my life and my career. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, so this is like a badass photo from one of my favorite scenes in The Matrix. And this was dope. We worked on the choreography for this scene for about two days. Originally, it was supposed to come out with this cool, like, tuck and tumble roll. But on, on the day, we just kind of changed it to him coming out, guns blazing. But yeah, that's like the first little introduction that the world got of the new badass Morpheus, Morpheus 2.0. How was your take on Morpheus inspired by Lawrence Fishburne? Well, I think, you know, Lawrence Fishburne, he delivered such an iconic performance. And my job was to be inspired by anything that I could take from him and then add my own flair on top of that. What would be your ideal fake reality? <laughs> my ideal fake reality. Whatever Instagram says I'm doing at the time. I think we all, we all kind of get to live out our ideal fake reality. Some days for me, it'll be like a day off. Maybe if I can go inside of a room and this room was in the clouds and I can control the temperature and all of a sudden I can like press the remote and I'm on the beach and then I could press a remote and I'm at a pool or I press a remote and I'm on a stage performing some type of space where I can control my reality and my setting just with the tap of a remote. Can you break down how the sentient program effects were made in Resurrections? Like, can I actually break it down or can I like for fake break it down? If I can, if you ask me to actually break it down, then I'm gonna talk about gray suits and helmets with cameras attached to them and things like that. If I for fake break it down, then it comes down to micro electro neurons mixed with green screen. And we drank a juice that had, this was like green screen juice. It's like electronic green screen juice so that you drink it, it's like new state of the art technology. And you don't even have to wear the suits or anything like, like that anymore. You basically drink the juice and the neurons and microfibers, they basically coat the inside of your body and your skin. And then the editors can basically alter uh, that information in post just via the computer. So you hear it here first, out with the green screens and out with the effects and with the green screen micro neuron fiber juice. It's like some crazy groundbreaking things that we're doing. What is something you've learned from working with Keanu Reeves? Man, Keanu's dope. I mean, I can say one thing, I can say five things, but the heart that he brings to work every day, he works very, very hard and he just enjoys filmmaking. You know, he works with a sense of like pride and also abandon and uh, just fun. And I have, a, there's like sirens just kind of going in the background. And I don't know if we're gonna have to stop and re-record, but I think Keanu would definitely still act through the take. So I'm gonna keep on presenting through the take and maybe you hear the, sir the sirens and maybe you don't because that's what kind of day it is. Were you surprised by the amount of humor in the new Matrix script? I was surprised by it. You know, I think the Matrix to me, it's serious, it's humorous, but it's more serious and cerebral and, you know, action and really intelligent uh, driven. But I think that right now the world needs some lightheartedness and I think that the Matrix can do, you know, all of those things at the same time. It can still, you know, be cerebral and, and intelligent and funny. So yeah, sure, why not? Bring on the humor. What can we learn about the dangers of relying on technology from Resurrections? Well, I think that we can learn that too much technology can make one little go a little bit, you know, kind of like crazy and things like that, right? But at the core of our Resurrections movie is the importance of human connection. You know, life happens in the most beautiful ways when there's human connection at the center. And so sometimes our technology driven world, it gets in the way of that. So it's good to plug out and to check in with yourself and to check in with human connection. All right, hey, this is Yaya. And this is a little bit about The Matrix and myself. And thank you so much for watching. Peace.